Methodology and Ethics, Andre Rosedale, Aspen University, RSH 912, Introduction to Dissertation, Dr. Michelle Whitman, February 21st, 2022. Ethics in research should be considered the proper norms for conduct in research. These norms determine between what is acceptable and unacceptable behavior when conducting a research effort. While ethical behavior should be considered common sense, due to the existence of so many ethical disputes, disagreements, and interpretations, formal ethical requirements and processes in research are created to standardize ethics. Ethical norms and the need to adhere to these ethical norms exist to promote the knowledge, truth, and avoidance of error in research. Ethics prevent the fabrication, the falsifying, and the misrepresentation of research data. In turn, ethics promote the truth of the research effort and minimize the occurrence of error. The methodology section of a research paper describes the actions that were taken to investigate the research problem, the rationale for the process, and the tools and techniques used to collect and analyze data. Ethics are the driving force of a research studies methodology because from the norms created by the ethics creates a standardization and a process for which researchers follow, data is collected, and research participants are protected. The methodology section contains the research design, the population and samples studied, procedures for the research study, instrumentation used in the study, the collection of anal and analysis of data, and assumptions or other limitations of study. The research design is the plan the researcher uses to answer the question of the study. Having a good research design allows the researcher to be able to answer the question in an efficient way. Ethics are the driving force in the research design because ethics guide the validity of the chosen design in the study and promote its contributions to the discipline of the study. Ethics in the population and sample of a research study may be the most important application of ethics within a study. Researchers must consider the benefit of the research to the general population versus the harm it may do to the sample participants involved in the study. It is required that human study participants provide informed consent prior to beginning their participation in a research effort, should be aware of the confidential confidentiality of data collected from their participation and should be aware if there is a penalty for withdrawing from the study. Ethics in the procedures of a research study tend to focus more on qualitative studies than quantitative studies. Ethics and qualitative procedures need to be carefully looked at how data through interviews are collected and through what questions and to what extent answers are elicited from the participants. These procedures are often subjected to finer ethical considerations that are imposed on the study through judgment and the integrity of researchers involved in data collection in the field. Ethics are a driving force in the instrumentation of research studies to ensure that the instrumentation used is valid and reliable. It is important to ensure the tools used have either been standardized or are based on established theory or the findings of a previous study. Ethical issues in data collection are often covered by the collection of data itself. When participants sign on to a site to take a survey or enter a virtual room for an interview, they have to pass through an implied consent advisory prior to filling out the survey or interview participation. When involved in the recording of an interview, it has been suggested that participants are able to have access to the audio recorder or video camera in order to stop or pause the interview at any time. When analyzing the data collected in a research effort and interpreting the findings, researchers have to be careful to correctly interpret the data and present the findings without deceiving 
those reviewing the work or misrepresenting the process and results of the study effort. Ethical considerations and data analysis include the fabric fabrication of results or data leading to results or the falsification of the results of data by changing or modifying them. When considering ethical considerations in research limitations, the researcher has to acknowledge what the scope of the research study did not allow for and consider solving those limitations in order to present a stronger approach to answering the research question. This may involve the researcher moving away from a sample population he has influence over or beyond the geographical region he is familiar with in order to su subject the research question to less bias. Plagiarism is a great ethical concern for researchers. Whether intended or not, researchers cannot take the ideas of others and use them as their own. Plagiarism can be avoided through careful background research, the use of similarity software, and by having a subject matter expert proofread one's work. Ethical considerations are important for a research study to be valid and reliable. The methodology section of a research dissertation shows how a research study is designed and conducted. Researchers can use the process of building the methodology section of their research study to evaluate and ensure the study covers research ethical elements and considerations.